Welcome to episode 12 of Truth Seekers. I am your host, of course, Brian Radson. Um, dozen shows now. I know I keep saying this, set it to double digits, set it to half dozen. I'm just excited because I love doing this and I hope uh, everyone out there listening hopefully can glean something positive from it because that's really the whole idea of this in the first place is to talk about things that are relatable. You know, we're all human. All going through the same shit, or all going through the same shit. So, that's a big reason why I'm doing these in the first place. But And I love the voice work, so. Anywho, so today we're going to talk about noise. Noise. All kinds of noises. A lot of, there's good noises and bad noises, of course. Say uh, you're into car racing and, you know, you hear a car rev up. That could be a good noise. Um, you could hear, say, a plane crash. That would be a bad noise. Extreme example, but you get my point. Good noises, bad noises. Ones that have to be taken on a case-by-case -case basis. Noises all over the place, right? Well, sometimes there's deeper meanings, right? The noise? What is it really? It's a distraction. Now, sometimes we can have positive distractions and negative distractions. I will certainly agree to that. Positive ones being, you know, to get you not to obsess on something. However, if we keep wanting ourselves to be distracted until the end of time, then there's probably something else going on. Like maybe we should... Uh, try to do the thing we're ignoring because then the because then the ignoring builds into the ignorance which builds into the hate which builds into the violence and it can quickly go out of control obviously it's what we're seeing now right both sides fighting each other and it's really a distraction to keep us distracted the noise, the rhetoric, politicians on both sides would rather stay in the extreme than come to where most of the country's at. Now, I'm not going to say that that both sides are both equals. Well, okay. Both sides do have extremes. Just seems like one is geared more towards violence. Or maybe that's just because the people in, in, in the extreme on the one side are actually in power right now. Okay. So when the extremes get in power, what do they do? They want to push the limit. What they've never gotten away with before. So they start doing things. Un-American things. Untraditional things. Things that... Oh my gosh, no president in history would have done. Nobody has ever done this. Oh my God, this is going to be the downfall. No, that's going to be the down. No, that, no, that, that. See where I'm going with this? It's a distraction, right? Overflow us with so much information that we can't possibly keep up on it all. So we tune out. We get distracted from what's really going on. Or say something gets close to a politician. Say they've committed a crime or some illegal scheme or covered something up. You know, everyday, you know, everyday business. When they want to, if they were in a position of power to or had the connections to, which more than likely they do, to people who have who are in seats of power to get them to uh, do something to distract cause some accident bring up some phony story that they know is obviously phony just to distract from what's really going on this is all noise people say the world is chaos well it is kind of chaos the noise that Billions of souls bring on each other every day. What do we do with each other every day? 
Do we distract from each other so we don't have to really get to know one another? Get to really talk to each other? Avoid on eye contact with that guy on the street. Don't talk to him. Well, maybe we're in this place right now because we've been too distracted. Because we haven't taken the, the time. We haven't spent the time. We've wasted the time. Like I talked about in my previous episode. We don't want to waste any more time. So why are we putting up with noise? Now, there are good noises, like I said. Good noises, bad noises, actual noise. Not noise. It's kind of like the CCR song, right? Who will stop the rain? Has anyone... Have you ever seen the rain? Those songs weren't actually talking about rain. So am I really talking about noise? Like actual, you know, oh, bang a drum or this or this or this. No. I'm talking about what's keeping us, obviously, from uniting. Because we're fighting each other in the streets. We're being told that it's that person. It's that person over there. It's the other that's causing our problems. And why is this being done? Why are we being distracted? From what? Well, if politicians on both sides saw that we were uniting, saw that we weren't putting up with any of the bullshit anymore, well, then maybe we could get past them. But I think they know that that maybe is becoming a definite when people start to see through the bullshit, see through their bullshit. There's no more noise they can put. They, there's no more noise. There's no more distraction. It's all, it's all gone. What does a dictator do when they take over? They attack information. So any attack... Anybody questioning them is fake news, is false, is not correct. <laughs> when did America fall into this pit? When did we become okay with completely abandoning our principles because we think the other person is going to take ours away? When did it become, you know, out of the many, one? That's what the e pluribus unum, at least it's the one that doesn't involve God. So, you know, when did we, when were we okay with attacking our fellow men, putting them down for the color of their skin or what they believe, who they love, who they identify as? On and on the list of adjective goes. How long have we been doing this? Well, probably forever. Then why? Why? Noise. Noise. See, the noise is what's keeping us down. It's distraction. Noise. Distraction. You know, keep your eyes on the prize. You know, people would say that all the time. Well, it's kind of true when we're going after some of our goals. You know, we have to keep, uh, you know, our blinders on, so to speak. Not let any obstacles or anything get in our way from our side view here. Well, we keep moving forward. We keep going. And why do we keep going? Because we want to succeed. We want to succeed as a people. We no longer want to be distracted. Is that true? Is it true that we don't want to be distracted? Or are we just searching for something that we may never find? Are what we searching for is real? Or is it just meant to, uh, you know, send us off on a curve or a U-turn away from where we really need to get? Noise noise it's another one of these metaphors from phantom tollbooth 
my uh, one of my favorite movies. Pretty funny scene. Going to this, I don't know, roadside trailer for lack of a better uh, word. And he's selling noises. All kinds of different noises. Noises, some that you've heard, some annoying ones, some bad ones, some... And then they take all these noises and mix them together and it becomes this amazing thing. But then it completely distracts them from their mission. Makes them forget until they remembered what was really important and, and thought, what the hell are they doing there? When the noise became so loud, see, that was the thing. Sometimes when the noise is quiet, we can't always hear it. Not always sure if it's a pleasant noise. We can't always tell if something's being pulled over on us. Then subtly, over years, chipped away, continue to chip away. And then it slowly builds up. It gets louder, louder and louder. Because who's ever making these noises knows that they have to continuously make it louder or we're going to figure it out. See, the thing is, though, as this noise did get louder, as this distraction gets louder, we start to question more because the noise is so loud, we stop paying attention to it. And when we stop paying attention to the noise, what is left? What's real? No longer distracted. We have our eyes on the prize. We're clear-headed looking into the future because nothing distracting us. Now, will something come up in the future? Probably. To constantly test us once we think we have everything figured out. But that doesn't mean that we still can't succeed. We still can't move forward. Noises will always be there. In fact, the closer we get to our goals, the noisier it'll be. The closer we get to accomplishing our dreams, the noisier it'll be. The closer that we get to electing a president of the people, the noisier and noisier and noisier it'll get. The closer we get to uniting, the closer we get to having an actual representative democracy instead of one that just pays us lip service for our votes and campaign contributions. And not really most of our campaign contributions because most of ours, even if we did decide to contribute, say, to a political campaign, what, what's the limit, 2,500? You think, a, you know, someone running for president when it takes a billion dollars to run, is going to give a shit about $2,500? And you're going to pay for gas for the bus for one, uh, one trip through all the 800 counties in Iowa or whatever. So it's, it's really up to us. It's really up to us. As the noise gets louder, we begin to turn off. We don't want to get uh, too overwhelmed. We still want to keep the positive in our life because there is a lot of positive. What we can use this to our advantage, however, is when the noise becomes so loud and so much and so thick and so overwhelming that we have to ignore it or we'll, break, or we'll crack up. When that happens, if we can make sure that we just stop listening to the noise... That's it. The exact thing causing the thing. And not stop listening to everything. That noise that was getting so loud, if we stop listening to that, reorganize our priorities, realize that love, truth, and humanism is all we need through accountability, then you know what? That noise will have no effect on us. Because we'll have realized as the volume has gone down on it, you start ignoring it. Only it, not what's really important. And what is really important? Us, love, loving each other, loving ourselves.
We can do this. We can get past this noise and, and accomplish all the things that we set out to do as a country, as a person, as a family, as a city, state, world, planet. And what do I mean we can do this? I feel like I say that a lot on these pieces. What do I mean? Well, we can overcome our hurdles. We can overcome our obstacles, most of which have been placed by ourselves through our reactions. We can unite. These people fighting in the street, they're fighting with the noise. Each side then begins to wage its always an own noise campaign, PR campaign. See, it's really the other person. And see, there might have been this violence and everything, and this person might have gotten killed, but if we didn't do this, then all those people would have overtaken everything and then killed them, blah, 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 blah. Each side's saying that. About the other one. Not only does that distract themselves, it distracts the people trying to watch it. So then what? Then what? Well... There'll be a time, there'll be a time, and hopefully not when, you know, a whole bunch more people are killed, but there will come a time when those people on the street will see themselves as having more in common with each other than the politicians that had them, that got them to blame each other for their ills. If we would all just see each other in ourselves it would stop a lot of the noise from happening. It would stop the noise from pulling us away from what's really important. From our loves, from our life, from our family, from our goals, from the things that we love doing. The simple things. Why would we ever want to get pulled away from that? Sometimes we have to advance in life and we have to do things. We have to succeed. We have to pay bills. We have to do this. We have to do that. Life goes by so fast when we, when we get older because we have too much shit going on in our head. Self-noise. Best thing we can do, obviously cut the noise down on a global community level. But for any of that to even be possible, we have to shut off the noise within ourselves. Having thoughts, choices, decisions rolling around in our head, that's not a bad thing. But when the noise in our head pulls us away from what's important, when the noise in our head, say, you know, prevents us from making a good decision, when the noise in our head makes something seem so much bigger and worse than it really is, overwhelming us to the point that we make ourselves physically ill. That's distraction. That's self-noise. We were able to stop that. We could think, th think about things without obsessing about them. Think about things more critically, with a more loving eye. All this would end. Well, maybe not all of it. But I guarantee our lives would be a lot brighter. Would they be the best they could ever be? What the hell does that even mean? Perfect? Nobody knows what that means. It's a definition that changes with everybody. So you know what? Let's stop our self-noise. Let's say kind things and loving things to ourselves so that when we open up our mouths, it'll express the same. This way, we won't let the noise distract us from our own goodness, from others' goodness, from seeing each other's goodness, from combining our goodness to make it so powerful that we're never distracted by corrupt, politicians looking to get us to beat each other and fight each other to the death till there's only one more left. 
Let's make sure that never happens. Even though they'd really want it to. Shut off the noise. Open up to the love. Such a brighter world out there when we do. And less noisy. Well, I love you all. And we'll talk soon. Remember to like and share this video and hit the subscribe button. Links for all my social media, my website, and where to buy my books are in the description below. Love and gratitude will find a way. We just have to keep the conversations going. See you all soon.